Adrian, welcome back. So you're here to talk to us about EY's upcoming digital home report. Can you tell us a little bit more about the kind of research that EY is undertaking? Absolutely. We've recently conducted a survey of two and a half thousand broadband households in the UK, ascertaining their attitudes to a range of technology, media and telecommunications services. As part of that, our field of inquiry has been pretty wide. We've looked at content consumption, we've looked at the state of connectivity in the home, and we've also divided up the market into eight distinct segments, which really reflect the diversity of needs in the digital home. Okay, great. So can you tell us a little bit more about the key findings and the trends that you're seeing emerging? The key findings in this year's survey are largely positive in terms of households becoming increasingly digital. We're seeing connectivity being relied upon for home working more and more. We're seeing the smartphone and tablet being used as the primary internet access device in the home. We're also seeing content consumption evolving in new ways. The proportion of households that are using multiple device streaming, for example, has doubled year on year. Having said that, behind these promising stats, um, there are some caveats. Uh, a significant minority of households are actively seeking time away from internet-enabled devices. Allied to that, there's still quite a lot of confusion in the market. A significant minority of households don't actually know their broadband speed, for example. And we're also seeing that on a year-on-year -year basis, um, pain points around switching broadband providers haven't improved. Okay, so with that in mind, what do TMT service providers need to bear in mind to capitalise on this changing consumer need? It's really about understanding these different nuances in terms of customer profiles, needs and attitudes. So for example, the importance of a simple value proposition um, is really, really relevant here. It's not good enough just to add new products and features to existing bundle packages, for example. That actually risks overwhelming customers at a time when they value simplicity and they require greater trust from their service providers. At the same time, customer service should not be overlooked. We're actually finding that customer service is an increasingly important attribute sought by customers in their service providers. We're also seeing that there's a significant minority of customers who would pay a premium for better customer service. So in this light, providing better levels of multi-channel support are absolutely critical, particularly at a time when households are warming to new channels, such as chatbots. And finally, there are a range of counterintuitive correlations emerging in this year's survey. For example, we're seeing rising customer satisfaction, but also rising propensity to switch. Why is that? A lot of customers who are very satisfied are also very informed, they're also very knowledgeable, so they're ready to switch at the drop of the hat. Many dissatisfied customers, uh, in contrast, actually have had poor switching experiences in the past and may not actually be ready to switch. So drilling down into these specific customer segments allows you to isolate specific areas of demand going forward. Great, well thank you so much for your time Adrian, it was great to see you again. Thank you.